All right, so we're looking today at Google Forms and how to create a quiz in Google Forms. Hopefully this will go smoothly, who knows. So to begin the process, I'm going to New, More, and Google Forms. That's just going to open up a blank form. Now I am creating this in a shared folder, my tutorial folder, so that's why I get this Create and Share button, uh, but you won't have that unless you create it in a shared area. So here we have the form. It pops up Untitled Form, and you have it here again. You have your settings, a preview, uh, way to make changes here in the colors, in the background, questions, responses, your questions here. And then over on this side, you have uh, your Add Objects selectors. So we have uh, quite a variety of different things. I do like this duplicate feature here. So once you create one question, you can duplicate it and you don't have to repeat putting in information, trash to get rid of a question. And the required is important when you uh, have to have an answer, uh, especially on a quiz for students that required buttons good. And I don't know what the three buttons do. Uh, oh, adds more, a description, uh, sections, and then shuffle option order. So if students were side by side and you didn't want them to have the same options, so they peaking. So you know that Peking is the capital of China. So no peaking. That's my peaking joke. Whenever we type, I always say no Peking, and Peking is the capital of China. And so, anyway, back to the goodness. Coffee is very important to stay uh, hydrated. Yeah, hydrated. So, we have our form, and uh, teacher sent a picture file of a microscope that had blank labels and wanted to give a quiz on that. So the easiest way I could think of would be to uh, create a drop down list for that microscope. So I'm going to walk through the form setup for a quiz for that type of quiz. So uh, untitled form microscope how about label a microscope microscope label a microscope it's a good idea to have a plan in place before you start now i've done this once so i do have a plan in place even so uh label the parts Menu, drop down list. So, my first question is a short answer, and that's going to be first name. Now, if they're in Google Classroom or in Google, you can set it to collect their information. So, you may not need And last name. It is a short answer and it is required. Okay. So next I need to add my picture of the microscope. So I'm going to add my image. Now I had saved this to my Google Drive earlier. And here it is microscope and select. And that puts in microscope. I need to get that a little bit larger, so it seems small to me. So I'm going to 
use my corners, increase the size, makes it a little bit easier to see. So next I put in the drop down list. So I'm going to add a question. My question is, Each one is set up with numbers, each of my labels. So I have 14 questions. So I'm going to make this a drop down. It is required, and I'll be duplicating it at the end. So option one, and that is the iTube. Two, rotator. Oh, I'm going to bring up in Google Images, because I can't remember, microscope. Basic microscope parts. Ocular tube. It's a little bit different. Um, oh, that's called the nose piece and then the objective lens. So I'm going to head back to my form. Nose piece. Objective. Lens, number four option. We have the stage and stage clips, and then the illuminator. So, stage clips. What one is that one for? Oh, yeah, three lenses there, and then stage clips. Namer. This is actually the condenser. Condenser. Spelled that right. Illuminator. Doesn't look like it's catching my spell. No, there it is. It did not like that. So no. Illustrator. Illum. I L L. Loom. U N. A. Illuminator. Uh, focus knob. A base, probably. Yep. Base, find focus. So you can see I'm just creating all my choices. I'm going to stop here so that you get the idea. So this is a required question. Drop down, looks good. So I'm going to duplicate it. I have 14. So I duplicate it, label two. Oops, label two. And I duplicate it. Label three. And duplicate you get the idea about duplicating that way so I'm going to scroll up to the top I've duplicated all of my things and I want to get a little preview of it so I hit my preview button and it takes me to look at go first name last name there's my microscope and label one, choose, and I can select the correct answer. The star does denote that it is a required question. So pretty easy setup that way. I'm going to go back here to edit it again. So I'm on my questions, and I need to get this to send it out. So I previewed it, settings. Next is settings.
collect email addresses, restrict if it's for a specific thing, and then responses there, presentation, and we are doing a quiz here. So I need to make this a quiz, assigns point values to questions and allows auto grading. Uh, release grade later, probably a good idea. Kind of depends on, on what we're looking for there. Uh, respondent can see missed questions and all of that. I don't, yep. So I did make it a quiz. I need to save. And it takes me back in. And I need to uh, set up my answer key at this point. So by making it a quiz, it does give me this new answer key here. So answer key, choose the correct answer. And label one is iTube. And I'm going to set that for 10 points. That makes the quiz worth, what, 140. So let's change that to 7 points. I don't know if that's right or not. Label 2. So I click onto that question. It opens up my answer key. And answer for number 2 is the nose piece. And we did 7 points. Table three, answer key, and objective lens. Is that the right? Let me double check that because I think I got out of order. Yeah, three, four, and five are all objective lens. So I set that up, get my questions and my answers going that way. And, oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't named my form up here yet. So I just clicked up there, label a microscope. Pretty cool. So settings, quizzes. Yep. So we're looking good there. I'm going to just X that and preview. Let's take a look at it again. Microscope. You have this, but now you see here the points have been added to it. I didn't add any points to three yet, so that's why it's like that. But it's looking good. I'm going to click back here to edit and send. I know it's not ready, but we're going to go ahead and send it. And I want to send uh, as a link. You can embed it. So if you create like a Google site, you could embed this onto a site and just give them the link there. Here's the direct link to the form. I do like to shorten the URL when I can. It just makes it a little bit cleaner and easier. So I copy it. And I still need to get that to the students. Now, they don't all have e email addresses. Eighth graders do. So the eighth graders could have uh, you email it. Otherwise, you'd have to share the link with this form. Okay. So there's my link. So again, I'm just going to right click it and copy it. I can hit the copy button here. And then I'm going to close out of this one. So it's in form. It just takes me right back into the form. Now, I have Google Classroom. So I'm going to go into my classroom. And I'm going to choose my class to add the quiz to. So. We're just going to do it to my lunch tutorial class. Create an announcement. I'm going to add from Drive. I can use the form. Let's see if it shows up. I don't know. I've not tried this before. Label microscope form. I can also do the link, which for me is going to be easier because I copied it. So now I paste it here. Add link. And I want them to go out take a quiz. Take a microscope. Quiz. And 
I post it up. It gives them the link to follow. So now when they click on it, label the parts of the microscope in the drop down list. Your email is recorded. Switch accounts. First name, last name. There's the picture. Label one. Label one is the iTube. So I choose iTube. Label two is the nose piece. Label three, the objective lens. Four, objective lens. And then at the end of this thing, we hit submit. Oh. Here and now submit it. And my response has been recorded. You score total 14 of 14 points. I didn't set up my points for the others yet. Now, when I go back in here to my form, my original that I created, you can see responses. See responses to each question, individual, total, and there's a summary. So it gives me the score and then what I got right. I can see all the questions. Pretty nifty stuff. Then back to questions here. So that is how to create a form in Google or how to create a quiz, excuse me, in Google Forms. Thank you for following along.